Well, my friends, let me show you how to drill a Dana 60 knuckle. This would apply to a Dana 44 or 30. Uh, the responsible way of doing this would be go ahead and purchase a three quarter inch reamer. It'd be way safer. You're not going to snap it off in there. You're not going to play a little game of whack with your face, but I don't feel like doing that. So also not a good idea of just stepping up slightly with the bits, but because it's tapered, that's how we're going to do it. So move the knuckle this way so it's already loaded. Get up in here. This drill also has kind of an auto off feature if it bites, but we're just going to go for it. Don't laugh. Oh, there we go. Stripping the shank. There we go. It's 5 eighths. Probably only went through that easy because of this, uh, this fine product here, Anchor Lube, I would assume. Oh, God. Getting it everywhere. I got excited. Now, next step, we'll probably go with like an 11 16th. And then the final step will be a 12 16th or 3 quarters. So again, in. Lock it. Try not to hurt myself. So I would definitely not recommend like an AC plug-in drill because the odds of you snapping a bit off are pretty likely. You see how it worked with the three-quarter bit here coming up. It's it's aggressive. <laughs> Not recommended, but it works. So there's 11 sixteenths. Now our final size, 12 sixteenths. Let's see if we can do this without looking horrible online for everyone to laugh at. Probably too late though, right? Okay, let's leave this dang one down here so it gets sucked in. Well, my friends, you can see the way the drill is loading against my leg. I would not be doing this if it was swinging that way if you get my drift. Is this good for your drill? Probably not. Is it a Harbor Freight drill bit? Yes, it is. See how the drill stops like that, tries to prevent you from hurting yourself? That's probably good. My feeds and speeds here. Might just have killed our Bosch drill. We're almost through. We're through. So a reamer would have been like way easier. We would have probably been done in about, I don't know, 15 seconds. Way less violent, way more professional. But guess what? I don't feel like purchasing one and I don't have one. So here's our end solution. Boom, boom, boom. Bob's your machinist.